Now, language needs to be simple and specific, and we'll go straight into an example in a second. So let's go through some basically some rights and some wrongs, and we'll go through traits of the language which make it inappropriate for an essay. First of all, let's go through the right. So several species of American beaver are threatened with extinction as a result of heavy forest clearance and introduced species. Now this is a discussion which if you find evidence or statistics on heavy forest clearance or introduced species and then compare those with numbers, you'll have a very specific argument. In this case it's referring specifically to the beaver and what is threatening it. So it's answering whatever that question may have been. But there are things there which may have be a wrong interpretation and we'll just go through them in a second. Some wrongs. First of all, tragically, many unfortunate animals are threatened by logging. The reason why, you might be asking, is that not appropriate for an essay, is it makes very emotional statements and very opinionated statements. As in tragically, many unfortunate animals, so tragically and unfortunate, very much emotional terms, and it's trying to pre present a emotional argument. You would just say many beavers are threatened by logging. Ignore the things like tragedy, unfortunate, because those words are irrelevant and they don't really add to any of the meaning. And it just seems like you're trying to make an emotional statement rather than so much a factual one. Another wrong, species of very little beavers are needlessly threatened by the reckless and dangerous activity of unprecedented forest clearance. Okay, you can probably cut about five words out of that. There's way too much description in there. Furry, no, not needed at all. Even very little. Are needlessly threatened. Needlessly, okay, get rid of that too. Threatened by reckless and dangerous activity. Now you could describe that as being words that could refer to what the forest activity is. You probably only need one of them. And again, unprecedented forest clearance, based on what? That one you would actually need to provide evidence for, which you probably won't need to actually find. If you just say species of animals are threatened by forest clearance, that's a much simpler sentence and it allows you to go into deeper discussion rather than overriding it like this one is. You could write this literally in a much, much shorter sentence and then go through some more detail or go through an example, which would help to support your claim. Another wrong, beavers are dying because of people. Again, that doesn't really solve anything. That doesn't really give any specifics and particularly not like the first example gave. If you're just saying they're dying because of people, okay, well why? Discuss why. Why why are they being threatened? Again, that's one of those things that you need to try and be more specific. So if you're just saying what people are doing and you're discussing that further, then that's what you should be trying to do. Let's focus at least on a specific rather than just saying broadly people. Okay, we know it's people, but what specifically the people are doing. 